back to the fascinating world of the genes with Rohini and from the last video we have learning about the types of the regulations and this video it is also the extension of that types of the regulations. So what we have learned there are the two types of the gene expression regulations. It is the negative regulation and the positive regulation. In the negative regulation there is the inhibition of the transcription that is a repressor it is binding to the operator and it is going to prevent the gene expression it is the negative regulation and in the positive regulation there is the activator activators they are going to bound near the promoters and allowing the rna polymerases to get loaded and there will be the start of the transcription and that it is the positive regulation so here in the positive regulation, here it is your operon, okay, your regulatory gene, there is a promoter, operator and these are the X, Y and the Z. These are the three genes, regulatory gene, it is going to synthesize in the product and that product it is the activator and that activator it is going and binding to near the promoter and allowing the RNA polymerases to get loaded and then it is going to do the transcription. So the positive regulation it is going to do the transcription okay and in the negative regulation it is going to inhibit it is going to prevent the transcription prevent the gene expression like the negative regulation in the positive regulation also there are the two types positive regulation it is also of the two types and the first one it is the positive inducible and the second type, it is positive repressible. Okay. So, there are the two types. Okay. There are the two types of the positive regulation. Positive inducible and the positive repressible. Okay. So, here uh, in the positive inducible. Okay. In the positive inducible, the regulatory gene product, it is the activator and that activator it is a inactive okay the activator it is a inactive activator and when you say inactive it has it, ha, it has not ability to get bound with the dna so it is a inactive so as it is the inactive activator what will happen there will be no expression of the genes why because the activator it is a inactive it cannot bound to the promoter near the promoter it, is, it has lost the ability to load the rna polymerases so there is a no transcription and no transcription it will be called as the repression no expression of the genes inhibition of expression of the genes it is what it is the repression and and here in the repression, gene expression, it has been stopped. Okay. Next, when there is a need of the product. Okay. When there is a need of the product, these genes it has to be transcribed. And to have that transcription of the genes, who has to get activated? Activator, it has to get activated. And to activate that activator, a small molecule it is going to come. And that small molecule it is called as the inducer who is the inducer it is a small molecule okay which is which is going to allow the expression of the genes that it is called the inducer most of the time that small molecule it is a metabolite or it is a substrate itself substrate of whom substrate of these structural genes only that it is whom that it is the inducer so here the inducer is coming inducer it is getting bound to the activator making the activator a active activator who is making the activator active molecule called as inducer inducer okay inducer molecule binding to the activator making the activator active and as the activator it has become a active one it is getting and uh, going and binding to the near the promoter and allowing the loading of RNA polymerases and then there will be the transcription and the process it is the induction. It is called as an induction because in response to the inducer there is the 
start of the transcription okay there is a synthesis of the gene product so it is called as the induction so in positive inducible so in the positive inducible there are the two stages and that two stages first one it is the repression and the second one it is the induction okay now going towards the positive repressible what is this positive repressible in the positive repressible there are again the two stages like whom like the positive inducible but that stages they are exactly opposite that is the first stage it is the induction and the second stage it is the repression so regulatory gene product it is the activator and here that activator it is the active activator the activator it is active activator okay so as the activator it is active that activator it can go near the promoter binding to the promoter near to the promoter and allow the loading of rna polymerases and then there is a transcription okay so regulatory gene product it is the active activator it is a positive regulator it is a active one and as it is a active it has ability to get bound with the dna sequence so it is going and binding near to the promoter and by binding to the promoter what it is going to do it is loading rna polymerases over the promoter and then there is a initiation of the transcription and so that there is a expression of the genes and this stage it is a induction what it is it is the induction now a lot product it has been synthesized now there is a no need so the activator it has to become a inactive one the activator it has to become a inactive one because there is a no need of the product okay so at that time here there will be incoming of a molecule okay and that molecule it is a co repressor that is which is going to help to whom which is going to help the repression okay which is going to help the repression and this co repressor now it is getting bound to the activator and making the activator as inactive activator who is making the activator inactive co repressor it is making the activator inactive and as the activator it has it is a inactive activator it is going to detach from the promoter okay it is detached from the promoter side and as it has been detached what will happen there is a no further binding of the rna polymerases to the promoter there is a no further binding the ability of the rna polymerases to get bound with the promoter it will be lost and as there is a no rna polymerases over the promoter there will be no transcription and that no transcription no expression it is called what it is called yes it is the repression so here there is a repression okay second stage in the positive repressible it is the repression okay so in the positive repressible type of the regulation positive regulation the regulatory gene product it is a active activator activator it is binding near to the promoter allowing loading of rna polymerases and as the rna polymerases it has been loaded there will be the transcription now when there is a enough product into the cell at that time there has to be the inhibition there has to be the stop of the transcription that is the gene expression it is not required and at that time there is a incoming of the co repressor co repressor it is going to bound to the activator making the activator inactive so there is a detachment of the activator from the dna that is uh, from the promoter near the promoter side and they as it has been detached rna polymerase is unable to get bound with the promoter so it is also not getting bound to the promoter so there is a no expression of the genes so the second stage it is the repression so in the positive repressible 
the first stage it is the induction and the second one it is the repression so again when you look at the comparatively the positive repressible and the positive inducible the first stage into the positive inducible it is a repression and in the positive repressible it is a induction okay in the positive inducible second stage it is the induction and in positive repressible the second stage it is a repression when you look at the regulatory gene product in the positive inducible the regulatory gene product it is the inactive activator and in the positive repressible the regulatory gene product it is the active activator in the positive inducible there is the involvement of the inducer and in positive repressible there is the involvement of the co repressor so it is regarding the it is regarding the positive regulation the positive regulation and the negative regulation both of them they are required for the expression of the genes it is not a thing that a, a, a gene it is only going to be regulated by the positive regulation or it is being regulated by the negative regulation simultaneously both of the okay or one by one there is the use of the positive regulation and the negative regulation for the controlling the gene expression so uh i think you have understood the types of the regulations positive regulation and the negative regulation if you have any doubt if you have any comment please write down into the comment section i will reply you if you have liked it please sus subscribe and uh, also share my videos to spread knowledge thank you